welcome all to tonight's meditation. This meditation on this Jupiter Zeus thought viewing day. Um, it's really about just relaxing ourselves and just allowing the abundance of life and all that is it at that it is. It's been a while since I have done a live meditation. And hopefully next month we'll have um, a space that we can get back into still needing to follow those guidelines of what as they allow us to open back up businesses, allow people to participate, um, respecting that distance and only keeping a certain number of people in the facility at a particular time. So if we do start back live meditations again. I will let you guys know the place and time where to sign up so we have an accurate count of who's going to be there. But tonight again is, um, it's Jupiter Day, it's Thursday, and it's a time when most people reflect and some do some additional, um, additional rituals or meditations for that of financial abundance. But my experience is just an abundance of not just finances, but wealth, health, and anything it is that we are aspiring to. So go ahead and relax yourself if you haven't already gotten some water, a pen and paper right next to you. Because most times I encourage people to immediately write after the meditation. Um, because there are some things that come to you and it's... It's a beautiful thing when you're able to see some of those things manifest um, in your life later on and you're able to actually visualize it and come in contact with it before it actually made itself present in the physical form. So go ahead and relax yourself and begin to take a few deep breaths. Breathe in. Hold it. Breathe out. Breathe in, hold it, breathe out, breathe in, hold it, breathe out. And just allow yourself to relax right now wherever you are, whether you're sitting, whether you're driving. I prefer if you're driving for you to pull over um, because this is going to be a deep one tonight. Um, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. And just allow the energy to flow, 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 flow through you. And allow all that which is you, all that what you understand to be you, and even what you don't understand to be you. Just allow it right now. And as you're allowing all that is you to come forth, I want to take a brief moment to acknowledge the East Cardinal and the air that we breathe that connects us to our breath of life. The air that we breathe, we cannot see. We just know that it's there. We feel it from time to time. And which allows us to know that there's another existence or a greater part of us that we don't know. Or not that so much we don't know that we cannot feel. Or not that we cannot feel, that we cannot see, we cannot touch. But we know that it's there because we feel the presence of it sometimes as we feel the wind and the air goes by. And that reminds us that there's an energetical part to us. Some say spirit, some say soul, some say energy. I am one of the sums that say energy. And we allow that existing part of us and the team that helps us and guides us and supports us and uplifts us. I call my spirit team. Always looking out for me. Always supporting me, always guiding me always uplifting me and as they have taught me I'm also doing the same for them and even within that aspect I now acknowledge the element of fire 
that we so have represented in front of us tonight. And the element of fire that's always changing, as you can see, it changes the form of the material that it comes in contact with, which reminds us of our body that's always changing too. We went from an egg and a sperm to who we are today. So the element of fire that's always changing and transforming that which we are in that moment. It also reminds us of a protective presence that has always been with us. That presence of that which was, that which is, that which will forever be, that is a part of us, flowing to us, through us, for us. So no matter what is sent to destroy us, bring harm or ill will, is draw, destroyed from its core never to return anymore. The energetical essence of that thing which was sent to destroy, harm or bring ill will, is now transformed, transmuted to serve us in this moment and our greatest desires or expectations. And we take the time now as we move to the West Cardinal to acknowledge the West Cardinal point and the water, the element of water that flows. It flows to us and for us. It flows and it purifies. It's another element to change that which is within us. It also brings nourishment, it brings rejuveni rejuvenization and helps us to realize that abundance is forever flowing to us. An abundance of financial wealth, abundance of exceptional health, and an abundance of wisdom to know what to do in every moment. So we acknowledge, acknowledge the water and and the abundance that's always flowing to us. And as we move to the North on Hemisphere, the North Cardinal point, we acknowledge the element of Earth, these physical bodies to which will return one day. And these physical bodies allows us to remember that we have more than 333 trillion cells within our body. And there's a cell within our body that represents every single ancestor that has gone before us. And those ancestors who we stand today as a strong representation of one that is untouchable, undeniable. Always allowing their love, their strength, their purpose which is combined into our purpose to flow through us now giving us the strength that we need as they are also always admiring us, having fun with us, uplifting us, supporting us, guiding us in our existence and in all that we do. And as we stand in the midst of it all, that matter, that space in between everything that we cannot see, we acknowledge the source of all creation. The source of all creation of all things that are created. We acknowledge that source and that being tonight. And we give thanks, and we give thanks, we give thanks. As you now focus in the midst, As you focus, if you choose to keep your eyes open, gazing upon that fire, feel the energy of that fire as it flows to you. That thing in which you are seeking transformation from tonight. As the fire is transforming that wood right now, place that thing into the fire. See yourself placing it into the fire. Even if it's you, allow yourself, see yourself in the midst of that fire. And whether it's healing to a particular part of your body, or whether it's healing to your ability to bring that which you desire into fruition, or whether it's healing of the mind, healing of our emotion, healing of our senses. In whatever aspect that you are seeking healing tonight, 
take that aspect and place it into the fire and see it in the midst of the fire. And as you see the fire take on different shapes, and as you see the fire is transforming that wood and all that it's doing in that midst, just acknowledge the change and transformation that is happening to that thing. Don't worry about how it is it's getting done. Know that it is being transformed. And as you place that thing into the fire, whether it's you yourself, whether it's a heartache, whether it's an ailment, whether it's your mental mind, because with everything that has gone on this year, um, suicide rates are up and people are just abandoning this life form. And this life form was meant for us to live and experience. I'm not giving judgment neither here or there to whoever decides, hey, it's time for me to move on. That's their choice. But know there is healing and transformation that can come there within that mind and within your heart to help you continue in this existence and experience in this life form that we have been given. Some of us come to understand that this physical body is just a vehicle by which we are housed and able to use. And it's meant for a time for us to experience every aspect of our lives and be able to thrive in all of it. So I'll give you two minutes and 22 seconds to sit in that fire and allow the transformation that you so desire. It's a beautiful, 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 beautiful thing. As we continue to thrive, as we continue to ascend, as we continue to uplift all that we are.
And as we continue to allow this fire to just transform that which, with, which it is we are looking for, for transformation. Take a deep breath in. And blow out. And as you blow out, see that thing, that change that you are looking for. Just see it. See the end result of it. See the end result of it. And as you see that end result of it and you pay attention to the fire, how does it make you feel? What is happening around you now that you have accomplished this thing? What are the people doing? What are they saying to you and about you? What are you saying to yourself, to your spirit team, to your ancestral team? What are you saying to them? How are you feeling within yourself? Still focused on the fire. Because change is a thing that's always happening. Some say it's constant. I say it's ongoing. Sometimes it speeds up, sometimes it speeds down. It is never still. Change is always in motion. It is never still. We may stand still, but that doesn't mean the process of change has stopped. So as you continue to allow that change to occur, how are you feeling? What is happening? Now that you have attained that and is enjoying the presence of it, how does it feel? What else is aroused in you from attaining that which you so desire? What steps or guidance are you being given? Now take this step. Now take this step. Move to the left. Move to the right. Move forward. Sometimes just even take a step backwards. But whichever direction, north, south, east, west, left, right, up or down, that you've been asked to move, how does it feel to you? And you know, doesn't matter which direction they're asking you or you're being led within yourself to go. that you're able to do it. Sometimes not able to do it with the ease because change always brings about some kind of movement, which for some might be discomfort, which for some might be enjoyment. But whatever it is, it's that movement in that direction of what it is we so desire. So I'll give you another two minutes and 22 seconds to just enjoy the music that's playing in the background and just enjoy the achievement for what it is you so desire.
And as we gradually start to allow ourselves just to come back, and as this meditation is about to come to an end, we want to acknowledge all that was, all that is, all that will forever be. The source of all creation. We acknowledge that and we give thanks, we give thanks, we give thanks. And as we come to an end of this meditation, I'll end it with this. Good night.